What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another VGC 2020 best of three and PSA guys, make sure you download the ranked battle series five rules. Those are now available for us to use. And today we're gonna be battling my buddy Beirut. I actually go to college at this guy. And uh, yeah, he's also a Chicago, uh, Chicago local stomper. So uh, I'll leave his Twitter in the description down below if you wanna follow him. Uh, and I think I'm going to be reaching out for like best of threes at least like three or four times a week from now on because you guys seem to like it. You guys seem to like it. Uh, the main reason being because it's actually in-game content uh, while the ladder is down, I assume. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to do me a favor, let's shoot for 150 likes on today's video. I'd really, really appreciate that because the channel... The channel has been on a roll recently. We've had tons of views, we've had tons of likes, and we have grown in hundreds of subscribers in just a few days, which is new for me because I like... It's weird for a game to have like come out months ago and for me to actually sell momentum in the channel. Granted, I have been uploading daily. I'm going to try real hard to do that for you guys. I'm going to try to keep uploading daily because it seems to be appeasing YouTube. <laughs> in fact, like I like people have been asking me, like, Marcos, you're taking two summer courses. You work a full-time job. How are you making videos? I have legitimately chosen videos over sleep at least three days of the week this week. <laughs> but yeah, uh, today I'm also recording my voice separately from the video in hopes that uh, it'll help with the audio quality. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already skipped to the battle, uh, today I'm going to have you comment seltzer water or sparkling water. Or just tell me what you think about LaCroix. LaCroix is like my favorite beverage. <laughs> and lots of lots of my friends will make fun of me for liking LaCroix. But uh, it seems that we're facing a hail team, which is new. I haven't seen hail at all, this format. Um, I'm thinking here I can actually lead off Terrakion pretty safely. Yeah, the Terrakion lead doesn't look bad at all. I can taunt a lot of things on his side of the field. Um, I'm thinking in the back... I think Terrakion and Sinner is not a bad lead at all, considering, you know, I resist a lot of the uh, moves that they go for with their Ice-type Pokemon. Uh, and and Sinner is just generally a great matchup for this for this team. Um, They might go for Trick Room, which is another reason I'm running Terrakion in the front. I'm thinking... Rotom, Ndidi, or maybe Ndidi Thievil. I'll go Ndidi Thievil just because I want to show off the Ndidi Thievil. <laughs> I might go Rotom next game if it turns out I need it, um, but I don't think I, I'll need it, honestly. like I'm not really too concerned about knocking out Mandibuzz. I have the tools I need to take care of it. So it shouldn't be too bad, you know? All right. As they end up leading off with Alolan Sandslash and Ninetales, I'm actually pretty happy with the lead I chose here. Uh, the main reason being is I can get this uh, Alolan Sandslash to minus one, and I still have my Terrakion uh, to deal with pretty much anything they want to go for here. I think my main concern is getting rid of their only Slush Rush user. I believe that's their only Slush Rush user. Yeah, it looks like that's the only one that has access to it. Um, it's going to be faster than my... Terrakion though, so I might just go for a Protect here. And actually, you know what I'll do? I'll go for a Max Rockfall into this Ninetales. Uh, and I'll actually go for a Fake Out into the Sand Slash, hopefully breaking a Focus Sash. Because what this will do is it'll set out, like if, if I land this on the Ninetales, I'll be able to remove um, Aurora Veil, or just the condition of rain entirely from the field. Wait, no, I won't. I won't. Terrakion's 108 speed. I always forget that, but that's fine. That's fine. At the very least, I get rid of Hail for the rest of the game. But the only issue with what I just did is I actually removed my ability to taunt that Reuniclus, which I didn't really see coming in there. I didn't really expect it to come in, but I don't think it's too bad. I could still play this out. As I go for the fake out, let's hope maybe they're like modest or something. Nope, there's the Aurora Veil. So they're going to be able to uh, set that up for... I guess we'll see what item it is. We'll be able to tell if it's Focus Sash by this turn. If uh, they don't go down to Focus Sash, we're going to have to deal with quite a few turns of... Uh, <laughs> with quite a few turns of this. Yeah, it looks like they're Light Clay. Judging by the fact that they didn't have a Sash. However, I still have a good amount of offensive pressure here. There's the Mammoth Swine. Um, not too concerned about Mammoth Swine, actually. They could be oblivious, but that wouldn't be the end of the world. 
I think I'm more concerned with getting rid of the Reuniclus, anticipating a Trick Room. So I might actually double into that slot. In fact, um, I'll actually go for a Max Knuckle here, and the reason I'm going to go for a Max Knuckle is because I'm pretty sure Max Knuckle into Darkest Lariat should pick up a KO, and that'll help me deal with the Mammoth Swine next turn. I'm not entirely certain. This is going to be really close, actually. You know, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I'll just go for the Rockfall into the uh, Darkest Lariat, and that should do it. There's the Dynamax. I'm assuming that's going to be the Mammoth Swine. However, if it is the Reuniclus, I'm in kind of, I'm kind of in big trouble. <laughs> Yeah, there's the Reuniclus. At the very least, they're not going to be able to get this uh, Trick Room off. And I'm assuming they're going to be going for a uh, Psychic move into this Incineroar slot. Or not the Incineroar, the um, Terrakion, trying to knock it out. But it will be faster, we'll be able to get hit off. Two, in fact. They're not taking much. It's actually a really strong Reuniclus there. Get some more damage off. And there's the Max Mindstorm. Alright, let me think. Hmm. So. I have Indeedee in the back. But I think it's in my best interest just to go Thievil and start snarling up. And keep Incineroar in the back. Because indeed he can probably take a, uh, a high horsepower here. Yeah, what I'll do here is I'll just go for a Snarl. Lower the damage output of the Uniclus, because I'm assuming it has like Max Knuckle or something. And I'm willing to go Indeedee. Um, just to... I mean, it's, it's most likely oblivious on that Mammoth Swine. So at the very least, um, I'll be able to keep Incineroar safe for the end game versus what I assume is going to be a Lolan Sand Sledge. <laughs> Because I, I feel like I'll be able to, if I can take care of this Mammoth Swine quickly enough, um, I'll be able to deal with, um, I'll be able to deal with the Sand Slash with just my Incineroar. So we're going to lower the special attack output a bit. There's the high horsepower into the Ndidi, I assume. Ooh, is that Choice Banded? That might be Choice Banded. That's a little bit concerning, actually. We see the Max Knuckle. So... This is doable, but it isn't incredible. It isn't incredible how I'm going to have to play this out. Let's see if it's, um, actually... Whoop. Why is it making me select a move? Hello? There we go. <laughs> my, my controller is freaking out right there. Let me think. So I can go for a foul play into this Mammoth Swine. And that might knock it out. Probably not, though. There's the Oblivious. Yeah, it's not going to knock it out without a crit. But I have to go for it anyways. Go for this Foul Play. And uh, we'll go ahead and Flare Blitz here. So I think we're going to lose game one here. Uh, but I did get some good information. As we crit. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that worked out for us. I could definitely take a Max Knuckle, too. I'm not a fan of the recoil I'm about to take here. I'm hoping that's going into Incineroar, in fact. Goes into Thievul. That's actually better for me. Yeah, I, I think I won. I managed to get that one crit that was necessary. Because all I have to do here is Snarl and uh, attack into that Sand Slash slot. It might protect, but it's not like he can actually knock out this uh, Incineroar now. Not at minus two. Yeah, we got the crit we needed. <laughs> that was real lucky, actually. Let's go for this Flare Blitz into the Sand Slash. Get my Snarl off, break a potential Sash on the Slash. I'm going to outspeed that thing, maybe? Actually, no. It's going to outspeed me, but I should be able to take a hit. It might rock slide. Oh my god, if he gets a rock slide flinch, that would be um, actually deserved. Knocks it out of his own Reuniclus, so I'm going to be able to take out this Sand Slash. 
yeah, that crit definitely won me that game. Um, but I, I think I think I'll be able to come out on top regardless of not not for this match, but I think like with the information I got, um, I probably could have played game two and game three better. Anyways, I think I don't know. I'm not I'm not like trying to say like the game is over, but. I, what I'm trying to say is, like, I got enough information where I think I can play correctly the next couple of games, but I, I for sure got bailed out right there. Like, 100% I got bailed out. All right. Let's go into game two. Play with the same rules, and we'll adjust this time. We'll adjust. Because that definitely wasn't, um... I definitely played game one kind of bad. Like, uh, I, I completely forgot my Terrakion speed tier. I always think it's like 109 or 110 or something. It's it's 108. I always forget that. And Alolan Ninetales is 109. So let's see. Um, if they lead off the same way... I'm thinking here, actually, I make the exact same lead, but I play it differently. I won't actually target into that... Um, I won't target into the Sand Slash this turn. I'll just fake out into Ninetales. And that'll prevent the Veil from going up entirely. Rotom might be a better choice. However, Ndidi didn't even need to make an appearance, so I'll just go for it anyways. Because <laughs> I really like using Ndidi to clean up games. And it, it's it's nice with the Choice Scarf. Like, they only have um, one Pokemon that's immune to it, so if I play my cards right, it won't even be a factor. And definitely having a... Uh, Having two dark types is nice for the Reuniclus, because the Reuniclus was one of the more annoying things on the other side of the field. Mamoswine also can run through um, two of my strongest Pokemon being Incineroar and Terrakion, so if Mamoswine ends up being a bigger issue this game, if I play... Because like, the main reason Mamoswine was a huge issue was because um, I didn't play turn one right. If I can play turn one right and Mamoswine still continues to like annoy me, um, I'll just adjust and I'll bring Rotom next game instead of Indeedee. Because the evil is still really nice for the Snarl and the foul play stuff. Or hell, maybe I'll drop the evil for, for uh, Rotom Wash instead. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so they lead off Reuniclus and Mamoswine. And I'm going to go ahead and lead off Incineroar and Terrakion here. Get the Intimidate off. However, we did see the other game that that was Oblivious on the Mamoswine. Now, what I want to do here is go for a Fake Out into this Mamoswine slot. Because I think they're more likely to um, Dynamax this Reuniclus. So I'll go Hard Thievul here. Assuming they're going to want to go for a Psychic move. They could even go for, um... They could even go for, like, a, uh... A Trick Room here, which wouldn't be incredible, but the fact that they brought this thing out tells me they might have just Dynamaxed. There's a Fake Out. Hopefully we don't see a Trick Room. Yep, there's the Trick Room. Not the end of the world, actually. Because I can still Snarl. Yeah, I think here my play would be Parting Shot into Reuniclus and Snarl. Because Reuniclus shouldn't be able to knock out either of my Mons right now. I mean, a Focus Blast would hurt, but Max Knuckle wouldn't. I'm not too concerned about Mandibuzz either. So if I can lower this thing's special attack output enough, I should be fine. There's the Focus Blast. He lands it onto the Incineroar. I do manage to take it, though. I have a lot of special defense investment. Get my Parting Shot off. And I'll be able to get a Snarl off as well. In fact... I don't know what they're going to go for with this Mandibuzz. It could be Toxic or something. But I, I feel safe just switching in my um, my Terrakion. I almost dropped my controller right there. 
Just because I don't see anything too powerful going into it. It might even just be a dark move. There's the taunt. That doesn't do much. I can't go for fake tears, which is the only downside. But I'm still not in, like, in a losing position. And I could actually beat up my, um... You know what I'm going to do? How many turns of Trick Room are left? There are three turns of Trick Room. This is going to be a real risky play. I'm going to go for a Protect here. And I'm going to go for a Snarl. I'm hoping they just go for a Psychic into that Terrakion slot. Yes, okay. That's actually really good for me. They get a Snarl. Ooh, that's not a good play. That would have given me plus one. Let's lower this thing's special attack output a bit more. And then I'm going to just destroy it. I'm going to remove it from the field entirely. I'm going to end this man's whole career. Alright. How many turns of Trick Room are left? I think there's two. There are two turns left of Trick Room. So I'll take this turn. I will take this turn. To delete this Reuniclus. I'm going to beat up this thing. Because beat up's going to go before Max Rockfall. And my Dynamax, with this thing at minus two, will allow me to live the hit. And if they go for a Snarl, that's just more attack for me. I'd be real disappointed if they foul played, though. I don't think there's any situation where they would feel comfortable foul playing into this uh, Terrakion, unless they wanted to make that hard, hard read that I was going to go for beat up. But even then, with the Dynamax, I'll be able to live it. There's the Psychic. I take it really well, considering, you know, everything I did. There's the foul play. Thank you. There's my justified boost. Still have all my mons, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get up to plus five here. There's one. There's two. This goes real slow. This goes really slow. <laughs> There's three. <laughs> and there's four. Now what I'm concerned about is a possible Tailwind coming out from this uh, Mandibuzz next turn. Pretty concerned about that. Let's go for the Max Rockfall. Delete that thing. Because if they go for the Tailwind when I go for my Max Guard, that's an issue. That's like a huge issue. Because that means that the Mammoth Swine will be able to outspeed me and probably KO my uh, Terrakion. So if they Tailwind the final turn of Trick Room, that's going to be real annoying for me. In fact, what I might do is... I, mean, I know for a fact I'm going to have to Max Guard this Terrakion this turn. But I could go for Max Guard and get in my Incineroar on their High Horsepower. And then hopefully I'll be able to fake out their their um, their um Mandibuzz. Because I think they always Dynamax Mammoth Swine here. Let's go for the Max Guard on the final turn of Trick Room. And we'll get in Incineroar. And then next turn I can fake out Mandibuzz and go for Max Knuckle into Mammoth Swine to get to Max Attack. Please tell me you didn't go for Tailwind the final turn of Trick Room. <laughs> Alright, Mammoth Swine ignores that. Doesn't really do much to help against that uh, Mandibuzz. Go for my Max Guard. They go for the Ice Shard. Interesting. And they Tailwind. Okay, that's real unfortunate. That's real unfortunate for me. They should probably Dynamax that Mammoth Swine. I'm surprised they went for Ice Shard of all things, honestly. Let me think, how do I play this out? I mean, I have to max Knuckle the Mammoth Swine, for sure. I might be able to win with Ndidi, but I can't lock myself into Expanding Force to win. Alright, um... 
Spirit. Flare Blitz. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for a uh, fake out into that into that Manda Buzz. As he ice shards again. Interesting. Are you going to just what? Confused. Very confused. They definitely should have targeted into that Terrakion. I think they were expecting like a switch or another max guard. But um I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. We have reached max attack Terrakion. Some would call this a uh, Nirvana, in fact. Alright, let me get in the uh the Feeble. The reason I'm gonna get in Thievel here is because I'm probably just gonna have to switch into my um yeah, I'm probably gonna have to switch into the uh Thievy. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to switch into the Indeedy. And I'll be able to go for like snarls here. And take pretty much every hit. They still have Dynamax though, I'm assuming they're gonna Dynamax this uh this uh stupid Ninetales. So I'll get in my Indeedy. Go for Snarls. I'll be able to take pretty much everything. Because Ninetales' special attack isn't that great. And my, my end game here is just getting them to a uh, low enough special attack where I can just clean up with Rock Slide. As we get our Psychic Seed boost there. And they're gonna Dynamax this thing. So what I think happened there was they were choice banned on the. I think they were choice banned on the uh, Mammoth Swine, and by locking themselves into Ice Shard that turn, they might have like not felt comfortable going for like a Dynamax. Even then, I'm still a little bit confused. Here's the Max Starfall. I think I might be able to take it. Hell yeah. Get my Snarl off. As they go for the Foul Play. Ooh, I don't like how much that did, actually. How many turns of Trick or er, Tailwind are there left? There's one turn of Tailwind left, so here's what I'll do. Gonna make a big brain play. I'm gonna go into Terrakion. And I'm gonna sack this Thievel. While I... Do I try to beat up my own Terrakion? I don't know. I think I just go for another Snarl. And hope that they didn't target into Ndidi. Ooh, okay. Let's see if they go for a foul play here. Yeah, there's the foul play. Into the Thievel. As their Tailwind goes away. I'll be able to get in Choice Scarf and Deity here. However, I don't think I take minus one max Starfall. I need to to win, but I don't think I do. Hmm. I mean, I'm faster than Mandibuzz with my Terrakion, but I'm slower <laughs> with, um, but I'm slower than uh, Ninetales with both of my mons. So I think I just always have to rock slide here. You know what? It might be in my best interest to just, yeah, I mean, they're going to Tailwind this turn. Expanding. I have to hyper voice, don't I? No, I'll expanding force. Why not? Oh, I accidentally targeted into Mandibus. That was a misplay. Well, I messed up. <laughs> oh, okay. It doesn't matter which one you target. There's the max starfall. Probably not going to take it. Yep. So they're going to take game two.
as they get the foul play. Alright, let me think. Now, I haven't revealed Taunt on Terrakion yet. I might need to do that. I might need to do that to win. Because if I can stop that Trick Room, they lose a lot of offensive pressure. I always have to lead off Terrakion, though. Alright, play with the same rules. I'm thinking I might need to bring Rotom Wash as well. Hmm. Rotom Wash just has a nice matchup in general, I think. So I might need to drop the whole Indeedee thing. <laughs> Let's think. Let's think here. So. Um... Hmm. I can lead off Terrakion. I can lead off Incineroar. Actually, I'll lead off Terrakion Rotom, because we know it's probably Choice Band on that... Um, it's it's probably Choice Band on the Mammoth Swine. But do I want to let them... Do I want to let them feel like they can Dynamax their, their thing? No, I don't. All right. So, Terrakion and Cinnaroar Rotom. And I... Thievil's just been doing really good. In general. And I don't feel like Indeedee does quite as much for the team. Is that the truth, though? I don't know. The Snarling has definitely been really important. Hmm. I might bring Indeedee instead. This is actually a really tough call. Let me think. So, Snarl has helped tons against this uh, Reuniclus. And indeed, yeah, indeed he hasn't really pulled its weight. I'll go with that. Arctivish Reuniclus. Alright, so yeah, I'm taunting here. In fact, I might just taunt Max Rockfall. Because at the very least, what it'll let me do... Yeah. I don't know, that makes no sense. Because I can't do both. <laughs> I'll taunt into Reuniclus. And... I think it's in my best interest to parting shot. Into this Arctivish. And then go hard into my... Is he faster, though? I don't know. Let's do this. Alright, at the very least we stop that. I'll be right back though. I had to dip for a second. <laughs> we go hard Rotom here. So we stopped a Tailwind, which is really nice. As he goes for Hail. Wait, is Slush Rush Arctivish released? I don't think it is. Pretty certain it's not. Let me double check. I have to check on Showdown now. Twenty at Pokemon Arctivish. It's not released. Okay, we're good. Here, I will max Rock Ball, <laughs> and I'll actually nasty plot up with uh, Rotom.
God, Arctivish looks wacky. <laughs> There's the withdrawal on the Manda Buzz. As they get in the Mamoswine. Not too concerned about Mamoswine because I'm going to be able to get uh, my Rotom to plus two here. And they have no speed control, so I'll be faster. Alright. There's the max rockfall. And this should definitely KO. Ooh, it just barely lives, but I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. It'll drop to the sandstorm damage. Get my nasty plot off. Beautiful. Feeling good, feeling good. Hopefully they don't reveal some wacky stuff here. There's the liquidation. I can take that. And we're pretty certain at this point that that is choice band on the, um... That is choice band on the Mammoth Swine. So what I'll do here is I'll actually go for a Max Knuckle into the Mammoth Swine to knock it out. And I should be able to deal with pretty much anything on their side of the field short of Reuniclus. Okay, time to double into Reuniclus. <laughs> time to double into Reuniclus to prevent the Trick Room. What do I have in the back? I have Thievul and Cinnamor. Yikes. Okay, maybe the play is get rid of Mammoth Swine. Maybe the play is to get rid of Mammoth Spine here. Because I can deal with Reuniclus with my Pokemon in the back. Yeah, so I'll max Knuckle into the Mammoth Spine slot. And that should be enough to KO it. I'll just go for the Thunderbolt into the um, Reuniclus slot. Hopefully we don't, we don't see a Trick Room right here. I don't think it would matter too much because I still have um, Rotom. As they Dynamax. Probably going to be Dynamax or Uniclus. Okay, that's fine by me. I still have Thievul in the back and I can snarl their team to death. Let's see if they Ice Shard. Ooh. Okay, never mind. It's Choice Scarf. That is concerning. That's very concerning. I think I lost, actually. Hmm. There's the Max Mindstorm that's going to be preventing me from faking out. Yeah, I think I lost. Critical hit is kind of annoying. Because I actually would have been able to... Uh, uh, oh well. Oh well. I would have been able to Hydro Pump into that, into that uh, Mammoth Swine slot. Let me get in the Incineroar and the Feeble. It's fine, though. I mean, technically, he deserves that crit, considering I actually got the crit earlier in the game to knock out the Mammoth Swine. Alright. Um, I think my play here is probably... Do I let Incinera go down? Because I don't think he actually takes one of these. I'll do this. I'll Snarl. Yeah, that's part of my play. As they max guard, interesting. Get my Snarl off, onto the Mammoth Swine. Not going to make much of a difference, though, with that. And they're likely going to go for a high horsepower into this Incineroar slot. Maybe they'll miss. They do not. Ooh, they go for it into Thievul. Interesting. I don't think I necessarily agree with that play. Because now I can snarl into this um, Reuniclus. And I actually do really well with Incinera versus Mandibuzz. I mean, actually, I don't have any recovery, so maybe not. They might have still won. They're likely going to go for a um, Max Knuckle here. 
I'll just Darkest Lariat and Snarl. Yeah, I believe that's my best play. Lower the damage output a bit. Get my Snarl off in both of these mons. Not do too much to Reuniclus or Mandibuzz. Probably gonna go for a Max Knuckle into this Incineroar slot. To go for a Foul Play. Into Thievul. Get my Darkest Lariat off. Do enough where I KO it next turn. Here's the Max Knuckle. Let's see how much this does. A lot. So that's going to be game, most likely. I would need to, like, crit a... I would need to, like, super crit <laughs> a Flare Buds to win. Alright. So we'll go for the Darkest Lariat here. And a Viriuniclus. Luckily I don't take any sand damage though because of safety goggles. So that was kind of useful this game. There's the foul play. As it doesn't quite do enough, but uh, it will do enough next turn. So here we'll go for the Flare Blitz, and they're going to go for that Foul Play, and that will knock me out if not the Flare Blitz recoil. So that was a really nice set. Like, there was there was a little bit of luck on both ends. Uh, game 1, I got bailed out by the uh, crit on that Foul Play. Game 2, uh, they actually took that pretty fair and square. And Game 3, uh, a little bit of luck on their side by getting the crit on the Rotom, which it's a special defensive Rotom. It's a special defensive nasty plot, so I would have been able to uh, capitalize on the Choice Scarf and knock out that Mammoth Song with the Hydro Pump, likely. But it's all good. Either way, it was a really nice set. So if you guys appreciated this uh, best of three set, go ahead, leave a like in the video. Comment what you think about uh, sparkling water. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. Bye.